Doctor, start by just explaining what lutein is. Okay, lutein is a, uh, a substance in the class of carotenoids, and, and so they're naturally occurring substances uh, found in primarily vegetables and fruits. Uh, they're pigments that give vegetables and fruits their color. Mm -hmm. So uh, you may have heard of beta carotene. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a, it's a carotenoid, and that's orange. It's an orange pigment, lycopene, and tomatoes, red pigment. Lutein is yellow, and it's found in leafy green vegetables primarily, some other fruits and vegetables, colored fruits and vegetables. Uh, it's, a, it's a major antioxidant, and, and so this is, this is one of its many functions. Um, the body doesn't make it, doesn't synthesize it, you have to obtain it from mm. your diet. Okay. Explain a little bit more what uh, carotenoids are and why do we always associate them with eye health? Well, I mean, that's, that's a good question, and, and the answer is fairly obvious because lutein, uh, this eye health is what drove the initial research uh, into lutein. Uh, it was shown by epidemiological research about 20 to 25 years ago that those folks that ingested more lutein over the lifespan, uh, you know, in, ate collard greens, spinach, you know, mm -hmm. just generally leafy green vegetables throughout their lives, uh, had a reduced risk for developing macular degeneration. And so, and that was a, a significant finding, not just one of these small things, but if you ate a lot of lutein, uh, you had more benefit. It's a linear effect. Uh, as we go far, you know, forward into, into you know, the future with that, uh, about more like 15 years ago, there, there have been supplementation trials that mm -hmm. show, myself included, that showed that if you had early stage macular degeneration and you supplemented lutein, started taking a lot, the equivalent of maybe four bowls of spinach a day, uh, you could stop the progression of it. And folks on a placebo would keep progressing towards poorer vision. Mm -hmm. So we had to pull the plug on our study because it's not ethical to let them degenerate sure. anymore, and mm -hmm. we started giving them lutein. And so mm -hmm. there's some pretty slam dunk evidence that lutein certainly protects and can slow the progression of macular degeneration. Mm -hmm. Explain in, in what that is, if you if you will, and what if somebody has it, what what, what are they happens? seeing? Yeah, what okay. are they, and what's happening right. within the eye? Well, macular degeneration is the leading cause of blindness in Western society and in those over the age of 65. Of course, this is a big deal with the baby boomer generation, sure. you know, in that bracket and, you know, it's millions and millions of people uh, that could be afflicted. Well, macular degeneration affects the macula. Now, what that is, is it's the central part of your vision. So if you look right at something, uh, somebody's face, or you're going to read, uh, that's where the macula is. And so, as you can imagine, if that part of the retina degenerates, you're losing that central mm -hmm. vision. Uh, it's extremely frustrating. You've got peripheral vision, generally speaking, but when you go to look at somebody to recognize them, or yeah, certainly you can't drive a car, sure. hard to read, those kinds mm -hmm. of things. So it's a, it's a big concern. And it's reflective of cumulative damage over the lifespan of, you know, oxidation basically in the retina, that mm -hmm. high metabolic area. Uh, and so the take home message is that if you've got lutein in that area, then it can quench the free radicals over your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and you don't have that cumulative damage and you know, therefore you have reduced risk. Mm -hmm.